Hello friends, today I will tell you how to acquire multiple data in LabVIEW using USB 6001. So first of all, you have to open your LabVIEW. Here I have my front panel and this is my block diagram. Then connect your USB 6001 with your laptop then right click then you go to your functional palette in measurement and input output go to deck max data acquisition here I just follow some steps so first you have to create channel start the task after that you have to stop the task in between read right now I am using eight digital pins using 8 digital pins I read the signal from 8 devices whose output is digital so I just copy again and again or you can select only one and I will tell you the steps which are included in multiple data acquisition using NI USB 6001 DAC. So now you have to clear this task. Okay. And some error, simple error handler, and for continuous data acquisition I just create a while loop over this so now in this I am just selecting the digital input okay now over here this is my pins right now I select the by using this you can select these pins like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 on port 1 and these are from port 2. So right now I have to select 8 lines. Okay. So to select the 8 lines I just go to browse and over here I select line 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right now, eight lines are selected. Okay, so through these eight lines, I read signal from eight devices. Just okay. So line zero to seven are selected over here. Next, at the read type over here, you have to change this to digital, multiple channel, multiple samples. Okay. So, for that purpose, I select this one and over here, I just create a indicator. I just go to the indicator and over here, I have to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This will give me the output of different 8 lines. So this is the program, this is the block diagram program, okay, and over here you get the data from these. You can unbundle this if you want to, not unbundle in this case, you have to just use array, okay, so using array you can select the particular line 
like this and over here you have to just select the row and this will give you the output using array function you can individually read the signal okay so this is the program and this is the output data for this in this case i just read the digital signal from different eight lines thank you